Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Microsoft enforced a forced update to 23H2 uh, not so long ago. I made a video on it, and apparently, according to feedback from users, Microsoft have now uh, reversed that decision. It's very unusual for Microsoft to go back on a decision once they've made it. Now, what they were doing was automatically updating people that were on Windows 11 version 22 H2 and forcing a Windows update uh, automatically to 23 H2. And if we take a look at uh, some previous video that I made about forced Windows updates, you can see here that version 22 H2, the end date was October 8th, 2024. They have now extended this date and I'll show you the latest information for this. What this means for people is obviously some people wanted to stay on 22H2, why I don't know, probably a lot of businesses do, uh, they probably didn't want to upgrade to 23H2, but they have extended it, and if we look here at the Windows 11 version 23H2 notifications page, you'll see this was on February 20th, 2024, this was the current status at that time, it says here Windows 11 version 23H2, also known as Windows 11 2023, Update is now entering a new rollout phase. We are starting to update eligible Windows 11 devices automatically to 23H2. This is what their stance was back then. And there's been a short space of time and they've now changed that decision. And it's very unlike Microsoft to change their minds. But due to good feedback and videos like what I created, I think I hope that helped Microsoft uh, reverse their decision. So before we show you what is now going to be happening, I just want to have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, or you're looking for Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. And once you hit those links, it will take you over to their website. You can then create an account and use my promo code, capital B, capital R09, and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases once you apply this to your order, you can use PayPal to pay for your purchase. They will then send you your key and you can then activate your version of Windows through the activation center. So let's take a look at the February 29th, uh, 2024 news. And you can see here they've made changes. You can see that it's now saying new dates for the end of non-security updates for Windows 11 version 22 H2. The new end date is June 24th, 2025 for Windows 11 version 22 H2 Enterprise Education. And you've got the other enterprise versions there. This also includes Home Pro, Pro Education and Pro for Workstation Editions of version 22 H2 will receive non-security preview updates until June 26, 2024. After these dates, only a cumulative monthly security updates will continue for the supported editions of Windows 11 version 22 H2. And you can see they also say the initial date communicated for this change was February 27th, 2024. Based on user feedback, this date has now changed for more customers to take advantage of the continuous uh, innovations. And that's basically the way Microsoft have put it. In other words, they were put under a bit of pressure to make changes and give it an extension to that uh, longevity for that version of Windows 11, which is, of course, Windows 11 version 22 H2. So you can see right there on their main website, that's exactly what they've done. They've changed the date. So you've got another year uh, for extra updates for that version of Windows 11. What that means to you as a home user, probably not a lot. But if you're looking... As a, a business side of things, it's probably quite a bit. It means they're not forced to update to 23H2 or automatically being forced to update to 23H2. Now, the positives to take out of this means that Microsoft have actually listened to feedback and actually made uh, you know, a change to something, which is very rare for Microsoft to actually change their decision on things. And I think this is a good step forward for a lot of people that are using their operating system. They should listen to their customers or their user base, and that way there will be less uh, you know, drama going on with Windows. If we take a look at the Windows 11 uh, end of support here for these particular versions, you can see they've now updated 
uh, this version. Now you can see it says here for 22H2, that date is now 2025 10.14. And that is a good thing because that means some people don't want to upgrade to 23H2. And that's where all of the uh, bloat is, for instance, like Copilot and things like that. There's been heavily enhanced in that version. So maybe a lot of people didn't want to be automatically updated to that version and they wanted to have a choice. So now you've got that choice back and you can stay with 22H2 right up until 2025. So you do have a bit of uh, life left in that version of Windows. And if we take a look at the Windows 10 Home and Pro, you can see this has also been updated right here. You can see that it's now been October 14th, 2025. So it has been uh, retired on that date. So you won't get any more extensions on that date. Once that date comes, 22H2 is going to be uh, end of life and that will be it. You will been, be forced to upgrade to 23H2. And the support for that is 2026.11.10. So that is basically the support life of 23H2, which has also been extended a little bit. But really... At the end of the day, all you're doing is delaying the inevitable. You're going to have to roll out an update to 23H2 unless you change to a new operating system. Again, we're on Windows 11 here. Should you upgrade to Windows 11? I've had no problems with 23H2. I've been on it for from the beginning, and I've had no major issues with it. Uh, some minor little issues, which you're going to get with every operating system and every update, so it's pretty normal. But other than that, I've had no major problems. So if you are on 22H2 and you can roll out an update to 23H2, then maybe consider doing it because at the end of the day, it's it's going to happen anyway, whether you like it or not. Now, what I do with uh, Windows updates, I have them set to manual where I can check myself. And basically what I will do is I will check it to see uh, whether there's any major problems with it. I normally leave it for a few weeks before I even consider uh, updating it on my main system, especially those big feature updates. I really don't want to jump straight on board with those right away because normally that's where the problems lie. But saying that, um, if it's on a virtual machine and I'm testing, I will have all this installed on a virtual machine normally and test it and see if there's any major problems. And of course, if it's okay, then I might roll out an update on one machine and see how that works. And business environments and office environments, they very rarely update their systems like this. They will not go in and allow people just to roll out updates to the latest version because obviously they want to keep the network nice and stable. So when they get a stable version, they'd like to stick with it for quite some time before they do a major rollout. And before they do that, they will make sure they test uh, to make sure that uh, update is working correctly. And they will normally put these on test machines out the back and they will roll out updates on their machines across the network to all the machines when they're ready. But that is not very often because they don't want they want stability. They don't want instability. They want bugs and things like that with their computers on their local network. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. So if this video has been some sort of use to you, then give the video a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Just want to say a quick shout out. To all my YouTube members, I do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server chat. Bye for now.